Okay, guys, we're back in here. So this is a rustic bridge here. But they call it like the lover's bridge. I guess people go up there and they wish for love and they throw their coins off. That's why we've been finding so many coins. But there's like two deep holes. There's one there and there's one here. This one, the one down there is a little bit deeper. To me, it seems like there's more water in here since they did all this work on the drains. Plus, it looks like there's a dead raccoon sitting right there. I still think they, because I used to have a bunch behind my house and they just kind of disappear. I think they poison them. So this just laying there where that drain is. It kind of sucks too because it's the water's running over its dead body and then here where we're getting ready to go. But like I said, after I get out of here, I just go home and take a shower anyway, and wash everything off. I was thinking about going down there and moving it. I might actually go down and move it out of the water with a stick or something. But that's what we're gonna do is we're gonna start in here. I got the the garret with me and we're just going to do all metal and we're just going to dig everything because we've been having such good luck and i never i mean i kind of metal detected a little bit in here but i didn't go over it really good and as you can see it's all busted up it looks completely different than the last time i was down there i think the one time i actually dug a coin right under the drain but i'll get back to you guys we're going to kind of do a little bit different video to get, you guys can watch me more metal detect and get in there Cause I got my tripod with me. I'm gonna try to make a video that way instead of having it connected to my head. If it don't work out, I'll just put the GoPro on my head. But but we have a lot to do. So we're I'm gonna my today I'm just gonna focus on this deep hole and the one down there. The one down there is deeper. Then we'll just work our way down. So I'm just gonna got I found so many coins here last time. I just have to, I just can't give up on it. You know. I mean I wasn't gonna give up on. It. I was gonna come back here a lot more. But I'm just I've been I just found a lot of stuff here last time. And I don't know if they came down in here and done something, knocked something, but they're actually doing road work all the way around the place. And they dug up up here and put flowers and stuff. So I don't know why, it just seemed like it, it's a new spot again. So I'll get back to you guys as soon as we go into a good signal. Okay guys, I'm on the signal. It's like right up in here. What, I, what I'm doing is I'm, I'm detecting in zero mode and iron disc at uh, 20. And I'm just going through, I'm hoping this will help me get through the masking. I think there's a lot of masking going on. So that's why I brought the gear plus it's waterproof. So we'll see. When I did through the rack too and I got out of the water because I didn't want to sit down here while that guts and stuff was running all over me. So I do have a signal right here. kind of cool but like I said it's just the stuff man we find such weird stuff in here it's like an old it might be like a piece off some kind of gate it almost looks like a key to me but look at it <laughs> it's pretty cool isn't it our first find I mean it's possible it could be a skeleton some of these houses are old that are around here but I never it's just cool looking so it might be like part of a, you know, fencing or something. I don't know. It's just got some cool design on it. But like I said, it used to be a zoo. So I'll get back to you guys as soon as I get on something else. Okay, guys, I'm gonna do another one. Right in the crack. And like I said, that what happens in here is the water's kind of clear, and the sun comes down and it makes these rocks. It like builds up moss and it's real slick. That's why I wear these quarter boots because they got these slip resistant soles on them, so I don't slip and fall. Because it's slick, I can feel how slick it is in here. The bottle cap, <laughs> but it's flat and so it's right down in the crack. That's what it was. So I'll get back to you guys as soon as I get something else. 
Okay, guys, I'm on something else. I think it's a coin. It's just, it's like jammed down in there. I don't know. It's almost like it was smashed in there or something. I can kind of see it. I just can't get it out of there. I mean, it looks like silver. I can literally see it. Here. This is, it probably don't take me a while to get it out of here. I'll let you guys see it. As I fall in here. But like I said, the, the rocks are so slick. But I'm pretty sure this is a silver coin. Here we go, guys. You guys see how large it is in there so i'll turn the camera because it's gonna take me a while i honestly don't know how i'm gonna get it out of there because i've tried to jerk on it it's not even budging so i'll get back to you guys as soon as i get it out of there okay guys i got it out of there but it looks like a nickel i mean it is a nickel but they did make some silver nickels in the 40s i'm not for sure if it's silver because look how shiny it is I'm sure you guys seen it when I took the camera down there because I had a hard time. You can see why I couldn't get it out because it's all corroded on the side. Pretty cool though. I was hoping it was, was it, from up here it looks like a silver coin, but it was a nickel. So I'll get back to you guys as soon as I get on something else. Okay guys, I'm on to another one. I mean, there's still a lot of signals in here, but this is a pretty good one and it's right in a crack. As long as we can get it out of there. I mean, it's literally right in the crack. I mean, I can see it. get back to you guys as soon as I get out. It's going to take me a little while to get it out. I think it's just a penny, but we'll see. Guys, I got it. <laughs> it was a penny. But like I said, you never know. You know what I mean? And we did a little bit, but I'm still getting a lot of masking because I can tell there's a lot of junk in here. But hopefully we'll still come across and we'll find some old silvers. So I'll get back to you guys as soon as I get on to another one. Okay, guys. So I'm back up in here and then it started raining. I mean, I got the E-Track out of the truck but i have my cover for it but i'm more worried about a flash flood is what i'm worried about hopefully it'll quit here soon i'm gonna get up out of this creek but you know I'm, basically this creek all the water is fed from the street so if you get a lot of rain you could have a flash flood in this creek so that's basically what i'm worried about that's kind of weird because while i was up that way there was actually some kids down in there hopefully they went home but we're down by the old house. I'm working my way down here. I'm hoping to come across some silver is what I'm doing. So we'll probably just sit here for a while, wait for it to rain out, then um, keep moving down. I think I'm gonna go closer to the old and tangy, see if I can get on something. So I'll get back to you guys as soon as I get onto something. Okay guys, here it comes, hear it? So this is what I told you was gonna happen. See how it's a flash flood? So this is from the rain that we just got. It quit raining, but now all the rainwater from the street goes into here. And I can hear it coming down through there. But I just walked through. This was all dry just a second ago. 
but that's just the rain that just came through what i was talking about but i could actually hear it coming down through here so i was actually just standing there and it was bone dry and look it's even filling this one up but all the all the rainwater from the street goes into this creek now that's basically what feeds it that's probably why that lady she was telling me something about that it seemed like it was decaying more and this is probably why so it'll probably get worse since they hooked all the drains in here but i don't like i said i think it's just because they built it on the other side there's about 600 homes but i couldn't believe it. i could hear it coming down through there but it was just like roaring but this is what a flash flood looked like <laughs> I mean it could have been worse i mean i've never i've i've been in here when it rained but not since they plumbed it i knew that it was going to be that something was going to come down through here and i could literally hear it coming creeping down through here i could hear like a roar then all of a sudden all this water started pouring down through here and this all goes into the olin tangy so guys i'm walking through here up on the ground now look <laughs> there's a deer like right in front of me i just come through here and i looked up and it was standing there and it's not even moving I don't know if it'll even move. Let's walk towards it. What's up, buddy? Ah, oh, there it goes. <laughs> it's unreal. It's like they're tame. That's the first one I've seen in a while. But I'm up here on the ground now. That It's still raining. So I'm going to go through and metal detect on the ground on the way back. So I'll get back to you guys if I come across something. Okay, guys. We're going to call it a day, but it's been an adventure. I mean, that flash flood was just totally amazing. But I kind of knew since they plumbed everything in there, I knew it was going to happen because it just rained. I mean, it's been raining off and on, but it just poured down raining for a while. Then as soon as it quit, I went around a turn and all of a sudden you could hear it. I could hear the water coming through. Then after I went on the land for a little while and went back in and I actually walked back up the creek back to the truck. So, you know, it drained out pretty quick. I went all the way down to the Olentangy and there really wasn't a lot of, it wasn't flooded. I mean actually there was a lot of rock i've been down there before where you could you couldn't even see the rock on the bottom but you could see the bottom i went back here to check it because what i read about the zoo they said when it first opened that's what the people did is they came here and they went and sw went swimming in the river and they had like flow you know whatever they had back then you know you're talking about the early 1900s so i went back but i don't know for sure i'm gonna just have to get in that water eventually i'm just working up the courage because it's hard man it's extremely hard that when i went on that creek hunt for that old swimming hole man it was the toughest thing i ever did but i'll show you what we found we did come across three wheaties i found a half a horseshoe and that was over in these deep holes and this is that like thing i don't know i still think maybe it's part of like a fence but it could be a key that's just busted off i'm not for sure about that but it's pretty cool i found this piece of an old cap gun of course that spoon i'm sure it's not silver it's just this nickels got me because this this is what nickels look like this is what the one looked like i got on video and i can't really tell if it's a silver one because there's basically the mint mark will be up here and it'll be like a bigger letter and they made them like for four years in the 40s so i'm not for sure that might be a silver nickel and of course we dug a lot of coins and like i said i really didn't have any luck on the land but i was trying to dig with that pick and it wasn't very it was pretty hard so I, but i didn't really get any good signals but that area that we were at i pounded it pretty good in the past but we'll probably give it a break like i said i'm pretty sure we got that permission for that old house i'll have to go back in the fall when fall gets here i'll go in there and talk to her again make sure it's okay but i'm telling you that's gonna be a good spot i, I think it's been metal detected before but i I think if I turned up the sensitivity, because I found a silver dime in front of it. So then I just hadn't, well, I never seen anybody there. That's why I just never went and knocked because there was never no one home. But, but you can see right here, I mean, the water's down, see? <laughs> and I mean, it was roaring through. I mean, it was probably at least a foot of water, probably, you know, eight to 12 inches of water just come roaring, but I could actually hear it coming down through there. But the drains over here and they plumbed the whole this whole side of the both of these neighborhoods into this drain so when it rains all the street water runs into here but it was it was something different but i knew it was going to happen i just knew it was going to happen and it did and i'll see you on the next one thanks a lot bye